YouTube. Uh, I'm going to make my second part of my magic guide now, and I'm going to be. It's just basically skilling based. Uh, you will have to do combat to unlock the very minimum when it comes to skills, but yeah, here I am showing you it. Now, first on the agenda is high elk. You could low elk, but I'm going to focus on high elk right now. You require fi level 55, and it would require you from level 55 197,000. 305 casts to get to 99 from there. You average about 75k XP an hour, and this is simply how you do it. You click high elk, and if this fucker wants to move, boom. GP appears in your cash. Let's see, 36 coins. Boom. 19k. You make profit off of high alking them if you got them as a drop, and I think if you actually buy them. So as you can see, the first method, yeah, 75k XP an hour, is good. But now I'm about to show you something a lot better. This part really excites me. It's the superheating part of the 1 to 99. Well, well, I wouldn't say 1 to 99. As you can see here, you need 43. 43 to 99 part of the guide. Now, all you have to do is click here, click here. Now, I have to do it like that because for some reason my keybinds wasn't working. When you hit 1, it doesn't do the spell that you want. And boom. This average is around 200k. Well, no. The average is about 170k magic XP an hour, along with 120 smithing XP per hour if you do gold bars, well if you make gold bars from gold or with the goldsmith gauntlets, which you get from the quest Family Crest. And the person you need to enchant the gloves is located in the Alcaridian mine, just north of Alcarid. Now you will need to cast about 240,000 casts of this, but with MXP raids you can tell it's a lot quicker than Alking. Boom. This next part of my guide requires 45 magic and one lore rune per teleport. As long as you've got a staff that represents an air, well, unlimited air rune, then it's easy to do. The reason I'm recommending this is because it's a cheap method of getting one to what well, 45 to 99 magic. And I'm just going to refer you back to my combat guide. You're going to want to do that to get the levels to get here, just because it's the only way you can't skill from 1 to 99 magic sorry it's just not possible Jagex haven't added the skills now by clicking Camelot you just have to keep clicking this boom you just keep getting that XP look 3 XP drops per hour now or well not hour just per you get roughly 75k XP an hour from doing this maybe even more it seems roughly the same as superheat so let's just let's give it a nice 80k XP per hour and boom just by clicking this one spot I mean let me just check if you can assign it to the ability bar right, let me just get rid of that bullshit right, one, 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 one. see you just hold one maybe not you can't just hold one All right you can just keep clicking one boom 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 perfect perfection look at it just fucking simple right next for the last three sections of this guide well, the skilling part of this guide, you're going to need to come to the Aluna altar, which requires the quest. Well, to get the full access of what I'm about to show you, you're going to need the quest Dream Mentor done. And I believe for Plank Mage, which you're about to see, you, you need the quest, or well, you need the mini game, uh, Livid Farm done to some extent. Now, this is how you get magic, Luna Magics. You pray at the altar, you don't craft rune, obviously. And uh, boom, that's how you do it. Now, now for this next spell, what you're going to require is 80 magic to be on the Lunas spell book, as this is the rest of it going to be Lunas, and you need an unstrung amulet and astral runes, and let's see what you need. You need five water runes, ten earth runes, two astral runes, and 80 magic. Now to do this, you just simply click string jewelry. Boom. Now let's check our inventory wherever it lets me. And boom, see how it just strung all of the amulets in my inventory. Now it requires 133k three, three, three casts to get to level 99 from level 80. And yeah, then you're basically there. And it's duo XP where you're going to receive both crafting and magic. So I suppose if you're feeling a bit low on your crafting, definitely train this skill this way. This next spell requires 68 magic and I believe Dream Mental needs to be done. It's called Humidify. You need to cast it 191,000 times from level 68 to get to 99. It does make profit. It does. You just click Humidify and then boom. 
it's now filled all the vi empty vials in my inventory with water. That's why it makes profit. Look, check out buckets, check out pots. I think, no, you can't get water pots. Well, maybe you can. And watering cans. See how much they sell for at the GE. Now, the spell requires one astral, one fire rune, and three water runes. So, yeah, it works. It's good XP. Well, it's 50k XP an hour, but it, it can be good GP, and you don't lose money on this spell. So, it's worth a shot. Now, this next spell is called Flank Make. It requires 15 earth runes, one nature, two astrals, and coins. Now, this is because you can either do it on a sawmill, or at your own convenience, in a bank. It's much quicker to do it in a bank, but you can Well, yeah, I'm just about to show you. When you click Flank Make, select the logs you want to make uh, yes don't ask me about so it's 350 per now it's uh, alright so my coin pouch is there price check now boom that is an extreme profit 360 from one of these 15 of these well, yeah 15 of these boom do the math about 400 GP profit each now this is very good it requires about 141,000 casts and it requires level 87 I believe, let's have a little checky wecky wherever it is, yes, 86, it requires 86 magic to do, which I'm telling you, I think this is worth it but this is not the creme de la crop now for the creme de la crop, this is for all you noobs out there, this is a great way of losing money if you have it and get, getting some serious XP gains now to get 500k XP an hour, 400k of that being cooking if you're using the right pies, such as summer's pies, and 100k magic XP, which is a pretty good, you know, ratio. You get two levels for one. So yeah. Now this is what you need. You need four water runes, five fire runes, and one astral runes. It's about 200,000 casts to get to 99. It's a lot. You lose a lot of money, but you'll get two 99s in the process. Or you can mix and match and go for the super heat after, so you get three ninety nines in the process, all of which being viable skills. Now this is what you have to do: click bake pie. Boom! Uh, baking all the pies in my inventory. Majority of that XP is not magic, but that's life. See, look at that! Look at that! Summer pie, raw summer pie. Ba boom, ba boom. Oh, I've not got enough runes. Fuck you. But anyway. Thank you for watching these uh, little skilling parts I've done. If I've left anything out that you in well anything out that you enjoy, please comment, hate comment me. It send me an inbox saying you fucking suck gaming, even though I've got the max cape and you probably don't. No offense. And yeah, just letting you know these are some quick skilling ways of getting to 99 magic. Some of them costly, some of them make profit. Right. Finally, I'd like to advise you, I feel give you my tips, my tricks, and give you that emote seeing as this is the second video which I promised you I would show the magic emote from what you reach that destination. Just going to let you know, something I didn't do in the last videos, well actually, no I didn't do in the last videos, what you need to do to get these capes, well the magic cape is you go to either your nil, magic guild, which you'll have 99 so it doesn't matter, and yeah, I think that's the only one that sells the magic cape. I'll have to look into it a bit more and I'll put it in the description if not. But yeah, you just go there. Or, actually, I think there's the Wizard's Tower. That's one where I'm getting the 99. So before I start ranting on about something that you really couldn't give a shit about, let me scroll down to you. It's basically the quest cape with a few yeah, extra colours. Boom, boom. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Woo! -hoo. Now for my tips and tricks. Now it's good to mix these methods up. Now, say you were to start off with super heat, no, not super heat, pie bake, and get 99 cooking with that, and then jump onto the super heat wave. And then say you don't quite have 99 magic yet, but you have 99 smithing. Go for the string jewelry. Now the string jewelry should make you some profit. It might not, but you should be able to buy the amulets for under the GE price just to make that like I don't know one GP profit, but that's still profit. You do 1,000, that's 1,000, 100,000 of them, that's 100k made. Like I said, it may not be much, but it's better than spending money. And then you get your crafting up as well. Now, Livid Farm over here is another method. Now, this, well, it, it's along that way. It requires a lot of patience, and I really wouldn't advise it if you're not strong-willed. Right, so thank you all for watching. This is my, you know, 1 to 99 guide part 2 with skilling involved. 
and you know, just please drop a comment, like and subscribe if it was good for you. If it wasn't, then like I said, hate mail, hate comments, <laughs> dislike it, do what you want, but you know, just giving you my input guys. Right, thanks, have a good one, gaming out.